Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be updating my house. So I'm going to start putting up my Halloween decorations. I know two bins from last year and one bag that my mom just knitted recently. So I'm gonna decorate this section of the house so far. So I'm gonna get rid of these pillows. I'm gonna keep the actual pillows. I'm just gonna put the new covers that she made. So I have about six pillows here. So hopefully that's enough cover that she made and I'll fix that. And then I'm gonna put a little decoration on the fireplace and the welcome sign i'll put the little halloween pumpkin so let's get into it okay guys so this is everything that we got last year for halloween so my mom knitted that witch the pumpkin and those two balloons i mean balloons those three little characters right here she knitted the two um pillowcases this this is a candy um bowl door so i can cover the door with that then I have two Halloween signs over here I have um, like the little reef that's gonna go on the door on the outside and then I have some dish towels that are Halloween and some of these to hang up that's another sign that's a pumpkin this pumpkin lights up this is for like if you want to put cupcakes in and then these I got from the Dollar Tree you just hang these up and so that's what we got from last year's Halloween. This is one design. It says blue. And then, oh, this one? This is the other design. Like this. We have a Frankenstein. So we have, have a little Frankenstein character here. And we have a skeleton character she made. Look at this character, another skeleton. That's not a skeleton. What she's called? Dia de la Muerta. I love this it. little cat. Yeah. Okay, so these are all our Halloween decorations. So now to find space for it, and let's get started. Okay guys, so like I said, I'm gonna work on the fireplace. So we're gonna decorate all of this and then we'll move on to the next section. So I think I wanna switch it around. So last year I had this sign on my fireplace. So I'm gonna switch it and I'm gonna use another sign and put this one somewhere else. Okay, so So with this one, she did a button, so this one was a button style. So again, three buttons. Right here. I got this from Dollar Tree last year, so we're gonna put this up here. So you can extend their legs and arms. So that's gonna go there. This one I also got from um, Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna put the ghost right there. Wow. This is the um, what is this one? This one says trick or treat. This is the one I had on my fireplace last year. So I'm switching it up, and I'm gonna put it on my dining room. And the one I had in my dining room, I had over there by the fireplace right now. I'm gonna put these two on my dining room over here. So let's, let me show you on here. But I have to replace this runner with a Halloween theme or any neutral theme for the holidays for now. Right now, I still have Easter up here because I haven't went shopping to find any. So when I do, I'll change that. Let's see if it's 
solid bells to raise these. So I have this pumpkin. So this lights up. Of course, mine are. Okay, there goes. So it lights up. So I'm thinking, should I add it here? So my mom made this witch here and this pumpkin here. So I'm gonna hang this up in the dining room. So I'm gonna That sign doesn't reach, so I'm gonna have to switch it and put that one back on the fireplace and the one in the fireplace over here for the entrance for the dining room. So let's switch that. Okay, so we put the sign up here. That this is where I had it last year, so it's fine. Then I put the witch and the pumpkin up there. Okay, so this is what I did. Don't mind the um, placemats. I don't have enough, and I. Didn't look into it no more, so that's how it is. And there's only four of us eating it anywhere. So for the sake of the video, I just turned over my Rana, which had Easter theme on it. So for now, until I get a new Rana and some flowers, I'll put this here. The pumpkin. I'm gonna use this again for my door. So it just says Happy Halloween, and I got this from Dollar. Yeah, okay, move this way so they can see. Yeah, so these two are musicals, so obviously I have to put the battery on that one because that one sings also, but it's not doing it. It's stopping. So we also have this one. This is a little fox. So I think I'm gonna add this one. So I'm just gonna put this sign up here. I already put scotch tape on it. So I'm just gonna put it right here. This little corner and then the pumpkin up here. The door over here. With the candy. I'm gonna leave it right here like that. So we are going to be making some cookies. These are Nestle M&M's &M 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 and it makes 20. So let's start. So you have to preheat the oven to 325 and place 10 cookies for 11 to 13 minutes.
style. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video with me decorating for Halloween now that I got more stuff to work with. And um, if I find anything else, then I'll let you guys know. I'll show you in another video if I bought anything else. Like I said, the only thing I was looking for was a runner. So I don't think I need that much stuff anymore. I think I'm pretty good. So if I find a runner, I'll show you guys in another video. So pretty much, I think I'm done. And that's how everything came out. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on my TikTok. I'll leave it down here so you can follow my TikTok account. And I'll see you guys on the next